a number of people have been in touch and they've said that they've had some difficulty downloading the Autodesk Inventor software at home. So we're going to go through some extra steps that allow us to download this software at home and make sure that it's up and running. First thing you need to do is go to the Autodesk Inventor website. So you do that by going to Autodesk Education and then looking for the free software and select an Inventor Professional. Now you need to sign in to the website using your at labrathighschool.co.uk email address and then it should bring you to this screen. Now on this screen you should see a little welcome back message down at the bottom. It should give you an option to go to your Autodesk account. But you'll also see a small error message that sits just slightly down the page. And that asks you to verify your account. It asks you for the option verified now to show that you go to a certain educational institute. So when you get that option, you just enter Lab at High School. It does come up as Lab at High School Stenhouse Muir, but it should auto populate. So as you start typing Lab, it should appear. Once you've had that option, it should take you through to this little page, which requests additional documentation. Now, in getting that documentation, you need to have something that shows your legal name. It needs to show that you attend Lab at High School and it needs to show that you are attending the school currently. So the best thing to upload would be the document you've been sent with your timetable for this session because that contains all of those piece of information. Once you've got that, you just click the little option to browse and you can upload that document. Once you've attached that document, you can just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will have that option to submit that document. And once you've submitted it, you should get a confirmation email from Autodesk to your at labrathighschool.co.uk email address, which you can access through Gmail. Obviously, if you do have any more difficulty trying to access it, please make sure you get in touch with your teachers. But once you've had that email and you've been given the verification, you should be able to navigate back to the Autodesk website and you should be able to download the software that you require.